Hello and welcome to another episode and in the previous episode I gave you another challenge where you had to build something like this where the transitions are automatic. I know I've been giving you a lot of challenges and this is for you only. If you want you can completely skip them. It's completely optional. Uh, this one, this video is also optional. If you want to directly jump onto the carousel you can jump on in the next video. You can directly go to the next video. But for now I'm going to give you the solution. I hope you tried it out. You tried building this. Um, it can be a little bit challenging to build this, but uh, if you know the basics, I think you will be able to build this. But anyhow, I'm going to give you the solution right now. So we are going to code a little bit fast in this video because the videos are going too long, even the challenge videos. So I'm going, just going to do the things very fast, fast uh, right now. OK, so let's jump back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create another component called fun with colors auto where this transition happens automatically. I'm going to copy and paste it and rename it fun with colors auto and let's change the name of the component as well fun with colors auto and let's go down and let's change it here as well and let's change it in our app.jsx as well let's comment the existing one and import the new one fun with colors auto and my visual studio code automatically imports the new component in case if it does not do it for you you have to type this out manually as i have told you previously as well come on, okay so let's jump back to our colors fun with colors and basically now i'll give you the basic idea what we are trying to do here so we want to actually um, not only like previously we were doing it for all the elements right now we want to do it for every single element so if you have guessed You've guessed it right that yes, at a time in the transitions function, we will only have a single value of colors inside the array. We will not have multiple ones. So that we, uh, and this is going to act as the, as a, you can say premise or the basis of our carousel as well. So this is very, very important to understand. So in the use transition function, once at once, we are going to provide one color value. It's going to look something like this orange at once and the next after one second it's going to be so carousel is the same instead of automating it with the seconds or timeout we are going to have a button which will change the value so once it will be orange then it will be pink and so on so if you understand this you have built the carousel as well which is very very easy so what we need here we need to maintain a index as well we need to show that okay this is the current active index this is the current active index and we loop it across 0 1 2 then 0 1 2 and so on so we need another piece of state active index and uh, let's say set active index use state i'm going to define the initial one as zero and now i'm going to use the use effect hook that comes from react so what i'm going to do here is as soon as so one more thing I need to change so instead of having all the colors as the initial value because if I do that then initially all the colors orange pink and purple will be listed together I don't want to do that so initially I'm just going to provide an empty array and with time I'm going to change it after every one second or let's say two seconds it's going to change the value of the colors uh, state is going to change so what I'm going to do here is in the first use effect um, block i'm going to make sure that the dependency array is empty so that the first one runs only at the initial mount so at the initial mount what i'm going to do is i'm going to start a interval using the set interval <coughs> sorry function <coughs> i'm going to provide it a clock of let's say two seconds or two thousand milliseconds so and again uh, we are going to also have a cleanup function inside this cleanup function i'm just going to clear the interval interval that's it now the main logic goes inside the set interval so what do we need to do after every 2000 milliseconds or after every two seconds what is it that we need to do very simple we just need to change the active index we need to change it from 0 to 1 to 2 to again 0 to 1 to 2 and how can we do that? Again, remember, set interval closes a functional closure. So we need to have um, the functional, uh, you can say, representation of the set active index instead of uh, 
directly passing in the new value we'll need to pass in the function that changes it so what i'm going to do is set active index inside my set active index i'm going to pass a function which takes previous index uh, and what it does is i can't just set it previous index plus one this will be wrong why because initially it will be fine zero one and two but what after it it will go beyond two three four five and we don't really have anything after two so what i need to do is i need to modulo it modulo operation with the colors dot length so now it will work correctly zero one two zero one two and so on now along with setting this active index we also need to set our colors accordingly so we'll have to define another use effect block but in this use effect block we will have the dependency array as the active index so basically what are we what we are going to do here is we are going to watch over the active index so as soon as our active index changes from 0 to 1 to 2 and so on we are also going to change our colors set colors very simple set colors to colors of active index that's it and our function is done and what i'm also going to do is set another timeout so we need to show a uh, it, it's it's actually optional but how i have kind of designed it in my mind is it shows for one second then it disappears for one second then it shows for one second and then it disappears and so on even if i save here it will actually work fine as you see but i need to actually make it disappear as well uh, this thing this current bug is happening because of the mouse hover we'll clean up the code a little bit uh, after a little one or two minutes but right now what i'm going to do is one last change so here i'm going to define my uh set in set trans set timeout sorry set timeout so set interval versus set timeout you already know the difference set interval will run after every 2000, 2000 milliseconds and set inter set timeout will run after only once the given timeout clock period is over so i'm deliberately setting it exactly half of the first clock so basically what happens is for one second it shows on the screen and for the next second it disappears and it uses the next second to show up again and so on i hope you're getting the point uh, so here i'm going to set my colors as an empty array once again that's it and one last change i'm going to make the duration very very fast 200 milliseconds so that it quickly appears and quickly disappears or maybe you can change it to 500 that will make it look a little bit better that's it so if you see Okay, now we need to do some <laughs> cleanup as well. So our on house on mouse enter on mouse leave was still there, and we need to clean it up. That's it. So now if you see, it appears. It takes one second. It takes 200 milliseconds to appear. Stays there for let's say 600 millis no 500 milliseconds. Okay, so it takes 500 milliseconds to appear. Stays there for the next 500 milliseconds, then disappears for the next 500 milliseconds, and then we show nothing for the next 500 milliseconds. So it's a calculated kind of a graph that I designed it in my mind. Uh, just up to you, as uh, it, you can design it as you want. So these were the calculations that I did in my mind quickly uh, to make sure that we are showing all the things correctly. So for the first, let me represent it here. So for the first 500 milliseconds, it transitions in. For the next 500 milliseconds, it just stays there. For the next 500 milliseconds, it transitions out. And for the next 500 milliseconds, it shows nothing. So And same goes on on the loop forever. So this is how uh, I built my your logic could be different completely different but that is completely fine um, as long as you were able to do it so that's it for this video see you in the next video in the next video we are going to start building our carousal and then we'll be more closer to the final thing that we are building see you next time bye bye